Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, today, guys, I have a tutorial for you. And this one involves your laptop in cases where after shutting down your laptop, it's not fully powering down. So, of course, if you're having that particular problem where you're trying to shut down your laptop or regularly when you try to shut down your laptop, it doesn't fully power off. All right. Now, of course, you can see my laptop here. Your, yours might be a little bit different. Um, you can know mine is on. Um, because it has backlit keyboards. So of course, if the backlit keyboards are still on, it usually indicates that the laptop is on. When the laptop is fully um, shut off, you should see the keys actually go dark. And of course, this happens when it's plugged in. And of course, I'm going to show you what I mean with the um, problem. So let me just demonstrate here. So if I go to the start menu here and I go to um, power off and I tell it to shut down, notice it will do its thing. And of course, it never fully shuts down in some cases. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So of course, you notice it's doing its thing. It's going through the process. And I'm going to show you that in in most cases, it doesn't fully shut down. I'm going to tell it to just go ahead and shut down. And of course, notice it's going through the process. Bear with me here, guys. I just want to make sure I um, show you what the issue is. Notice the display is now blank, but of course, the laptop has not shut down. It should be shut down now, but of course, notice that the keys are still lit. And if you wait, of course, despite the fact that you're waiting, it will not um, shut down fully. And of course, the keys are still lit. You still can hear the fans running and everything. And that's not the way it should shut down. The key should go totally blank, which indicates that it's fully shut down. All right, so I'm going to start back up and um, show you what to do to fix this issue. Um, also, again, guys, um, in most of these cases, I have to actually hold down the power to show you what it looks like when it fully shuts down. So check this out. Notice now it's shut down because the keys are actually um, have powered off. So, of course, I know it's off now. The fans are out. And I'm going to turn it back on and show you how to fix this issue on your device. After your device starts up once more, guys, go ahead and go to the start menu. Then, of course, go to the gear icon to go to settings. And, of course, let's go ahead and use the search option within the control panel right here. We're going to search for edit power plan. So that's... And you see the option that um, appears, it should be just like this. Go ahead and select Edit Power Plan. Here you go. From here, go to the option that says here, um, Change Advanced Power Settings. And you should see the option here. You're going to go ahead and um, Restore Plan Defaults. All right, another way to get to this option is to have uh, multiple ways. Find the battery icon. This is a secondary way to get to it. Right click, power options. Should be taken um, right here. Select change when, um, change when computer sleeps. And of course, once you do that, you should be here, which is the same place. Go ahead and click advanced power plan and it'll be taken to the same um, setting from here guys go ahead and um, just go ahead and um, restore plan defaults and of course it runs you through to say are you sure you want to restore this plan's default settings go ahead and say yes then of course you notice right away the display got much brighter and that was as a result of indicating that my plans were actually modified so of course i'm gonna hit ok and of course everything is restored to their defaults and you can close from here guys you can test this out we're gonna shut down and we're gonna see how fast it shuts down this time so i'm gonna hit power i'm gonna hit shut down I 
and there you go guys it took a little while but um of course this time it fully shut down and i know that's true because as you saw the keyboard went out before we had waited and waited and nothing had happened so now the problem is fixed and of course the issue was as a result of a simple power setting that you had probably modified for some reason and as a result the processor at the end of the day was still idling meaning the system defaults were changed so of course when you um, actually reach the shutdown stage the computer would not fully turn off or fully cut power to the processor or components so it was just a simple um, power plant modification and now you know how to restore the power plant to default so the processor and other components can fully shut down of course your computer can shut down fully all right guys as you always ricardo gardner from blog tech tips same bye until next time bye guys